Hello, my name is Adrian Babulinski, and this is an overview video as well as a tutorial video for the in-game Gizmo Transform tools. When you open the project scene, you'll see something like this. When you hit play, you have all this, these lovely functions with one, two, and three, changing your options, alt, switching between world space and a local space, shift, doing the uniform scale, E to toggle the sh a select shader, like so and C to toggle the full rotation gizmo, which looks like this. And this uh, rotation gizmo doesn't change the sensitivity, it just changes the style. So let's get started. Um, as you see when you click and you can select all this, and you might be saying, well, wow, this must take a lot of code and a lot of preparation and setup. And to show you that that's just not the case, I'm going to set a scene up right now. So I'm going to click on File, New Scene, and I'm going to save the scene, why not? And go to Game Objects, 3D Object, Cube. This will be the object that will have our gizmo on it. I'm going to go to our main camera, go to our most important folder in this pack, which is the Scripts folder, and drag the State Pattern Gizmo script. After that, you see that we did add the gizmo selection by itself with the dynamic layer, which is what layer the gizmos are on. We'll set to nothing. We want to set that to Gizmo. Now I added this layer earlier on, and to do and to add that layer, I'm going to click on our cube, and click on Gizmo. And if you don't have this layer, click Add Layer, and in User Layer Eight or wherever, type in the word Gizmo or anything you'd like. Just make sure that all the Gizmos have the same selection script or same selection layer. So click, click, click Layer and Gizmo. <clears throat> now we're all set. If I hit Play, I'm going to change my sensitivity to 1, because why not? And if I hit play, I can move down this object and all of the functions work. And the scaling works too. If I hit Alt in uh, rotation, you see that it does change <clears throat> from world space to local space, which is perfect for uh, complex objects that were imported with weird rotations. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Using the arrow keys, when we're in transform, sends us in local space right, left, up and down, or forward and backward. And you are more than free, free to look at the documentation and see all the um, tools as well as the demo scene. Um, to show you what I mean by the world space saving you some time when using complex objects, I'm going to go to the room scene right here. Do, do not save that. And I'm going to click on play. And one thing you'll realize is when I select the chair, I hit two, you'll see that there's a lovely circle and it's really easy to rotate. However, when I hit alt, you'll see that the gizmo now looks kind of odd. And you'll be like, you know, why is that? And it's you know, nothing to the gizmo. It's when I click the room and I click movable and I go on chair, the rotation is messed up to make it look like it's. Um, in this formation. So now this gives you more of a sense of a relative to the world space and ignores how the object was imported, which would look something like this. And of course we don't want that. So um, for the Z rotation to always look like it's on the de on the ground, we just use world space. Uh, one thing we did add to the selection script is the selection of children objects with the selection material. You can see that in this plant, there's a pot and there is a plant. If I hit E, both of the selection objects do get highlighted. Remember that if you do turn on the selection shader, that will hide the gizmo from inside the object. And you are more than free to change the shader in the selection code. Uh, so without further ado, let's also set up the undo and redo system. So I'm going to go back to file, new scene. I'm going to click on our game object, create a cube make it in the gizmo layer um, and now I'm going to go to our camera I'm going to drag and drop the gizmo the state pattern gizmo script and I'm going to open up our scripts folder the undo and redo go to scripts undo manager and uh, all you have to do is change the um, the active layer to gizmo and that will give you the all the funky options that the gizmo has to offer let's change the gut dynamic layer for the gizmo selection. And now when I hit Z, 
it of course does undo and redo. And the one cool thing about the undo and redo feature is that if you undo, add more spaces, um, it just adds to the layer. So if I want, I can go all the way back to where I started undoing and that'll give you a little bit more control on your object. I hope this video was informational to you and I hope you enjoyed this asset.